What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we finally have some new information about Season of Dawn. And this one comes as a little bit of a surprise ahead of the Bungie reveal stream that'll be taking place tomorrow on December 4th, but today we do get a brand new trailer for Season of Dawn, and so we get a bit of information about some of the story elements as Cyrus is returning, and we're also going to get a bit of story involving Saint-14, which is pretty exciting stuff. There's a new activity on Mercury called the Sundial, and we have speculated remarkably accurately about this one, which is pretty interesting. That's going to be a six-player activity, but we've got information about new exotic quests, updates for PvP, new Season Pass rewards we're going to be able to pick up, so that includes exotics and things like that, the unique new armor sets, all of that good stuff that we'd expect to see with a seasonal reveal. And so we're going to talk about it in this video, guys. Once again, we will get more information tomorrow, and I'd imagine Bungie are going to show us some kind of gameplay of the stuff that we'll see in the DLC for Season 9. But otherwise, let's get into the video! And so, we do have a lot to talk about in this one. As always, we're going to kick it off with a look at the full trailer, then we'll break down some of what we see and some of the new details that Bungie have given us today, so check this out. You've been busy, Guardian. When you slew the Undying Mind, you changed the course of history. Now time is broken on Mercury, fractured by the Legion. They intend to write a new history, a new ending to the Red War. If you're willing to help, you'll need to walk the corridors of time. And you'll need my sundial to do it. I built it so that an ally of mine could cheat death. I failed to help him, and his death remains my greatest regret. They call me the greatest titan who ever lived. Caged animal! Triple down! Oh, your light is savage! What? What? Seven! Column! Bring the sky down upon them. And so it's a pretty cool trailer right there. We can see Osiris is returning immediately, and we get a kind of narrative piece about the Undying Mind, which is pretty interesting. And so there is some kind of story connection right there. Right here, we get a look at some pretty cool new architecture on Mercury, and we can see that there is a kind of Cabal enemy focus here. Osiris says that the Legion have kind of fractured this space on Mercury, and in particular, it looks like Scions are going to be kind of one of the key enemy focuses. We've speculated that we're going to be returning to Mercury in one form or another, and we now get to see this space in more detail. And they're using a kind of mix we can see right there of the different versions of Mercury, so that's pretty interesting in itself, and it looks like there will be some pretty curious mechanics for this new mode. Immediately right here, we see some pretty cool looking new gear, and I would bet personally that the weapons we can see these Guardians holding will actually come from the Sundial game mode. We can also see new armor there, and it looks like we will be getting more kind of cinematic content with Osiris as well. In the cinematics, we do get a bit more information from Osiris about what the Sundial specifically is used for, and this is where we learn that we're going to be getting more story about Saint-14 right here. So he's actually being fleshed out as a character in the game, which is obviously very exciting. And it says we will actually be saving Saint-14 in one form or another, so it definitely sounds pretty good, actually, in terms of story for a seasonal content drop, right? We can see right here what appear to be kind of champion Cabal enemies, potentially, inside of this Sundial mode as well. And so that gives us a bit of an idea of how Bungie are going to kind of use those enemies inside of the sandbox. Of course, we could be looking at different content, but I would guess this is the Sundial in one form or another. There's also a kind of interesting grayscale version of Mercury by the looks of things here, so pretty curious to learn what's going on with all of that. 
And as always, they tease two new exotic quests. And right here, initially, we can see a sparrow with a pretty crazy skull on the front. And from Bungie's press release, we can tell right here that we're looking at a new exotic scout rifle. We can see there's an interesting mechanic right there, where these kind of icons below the sights are actually changing. So no idea how that weapon will work, but definitely curious to try it out. Of course, there will be a series of different exotics and things like that that we can pick up, and we'll talk more about them in just a moment. But Rusted Lands will be returning for PvP, and specifically it says for the elimination mode, which is pretty cool. Also, we see a rocket right here, and I'm going to bet money that folks are going to speculate, is this Galahorn. And as far as I can tell, it's another season pass weapon that we'll get from season nine. See some more really funky, potentially exotic looking weapons right there. And of course, there is even dialogue for Saint-14 in here as well. So really excited on that front, and I'm definitely curious to get more of that story and kind of understand what Bungie are doing there. But alongside this trailer, Bungie have posted a new press release for the season, and so Initially, for story and activities, they say, defend the timeline. With the Vex invasion now defeated, Osiris calls upon you to face a new threat, stop a council of Cabal Scion Flayers from manipulating time, and undoing our victory against the Red Legion. So that gives us a bit more flavor on how that story is really going to work. And we can see the Saint-14 icon right there. It says, turn back time, journey through time to save a legendary hero. And then for the Sundial, defend the Sundial from the Cabal in an all-new six-player match made activity and choose which weapons to earn by completing time-lost weapon frames. And so Bungie are going to continue to give us the kind of option to earn specific weapons, very much like what they've done with the Chalice, the Lectern, and things like that. And that's pretty much what we speculated the Sundial was specifically going to be for, because Bungie did give us some little hints in some of the pre-Shadowkeep kind of Vidox and stuff like that. Now, we can't see the artifact mod specifically, but we will be getting a new seasonal artifact called the Lantern of Osiris, and we can see the kind of main icon for it right here. And as always, with a seasonal artifact, we'll need to upgrade the Lantern of Osiris to increase our power and unlock seasonal gameplay mods. We'll probably get more details about what those mods will be in some of the streams coming up, but right here we can see some Guardians with, I believe these are new Season Pass ornaments right here for armor. And we can see a couple of different exotics right there. For the Season Pass specifically, the website does say, instantly unlock the exotic Scout Rifle Symmetry, as well as seasonal exclusive armor sets when you get the Season Pass. And so that's going to work very much like Ariana's Vow. And according to the artwork they provide, I would guess that this is the Symmetry Scout Rifle. But they also show the kind of base armor and a sidearm right there, which I believe is a legendary. However, right here, you can see all of the icons for the Season Pass specific items for next season. So, as always, there are upgrade materials, kind of unique emblems, things like that. All of the different armor pieces, exotic engrams, we can see the icon for the Scout Rifle right there on rank 35 for free players, as well as some of the other weapon icons and general rewards that we're going to get from that next season pass. So it's pretty cool to get a bit of a heads up on what some of that stuff might look like. And finally, Bungie break down all of the content we can expect to see. So included with Season of Dawn, for season pass owners, we can instantly unlock the exotic Scout Rifle Symmetry. And yes, I did call it Symmetry plus one earlier on. I think I was getting too excited reading through some of Bungie's press material right there. But there's also the new six player activity, the Sundial, exotic quests, seasonal armor sets and ornaments, new triumphs, bounties and seasonal lore books. And then we've got an exotic emote, a ghost, an ornament and a finisher as well as additional Season Pass rewards to unlock. And free for all Destiny players will be the Season Rank rewards that you can get on the free tab, the Seasonal Artifact, the Lantern of Osiris, the opportunity to help Osiris fix the timeline by restoring obelisks on four destinations. So that'll be a piece of content we'll all get access to. You'll be able to unlock the Seasonal Armor Set Righteous and progress through Season Ranks to earn the Exotic Scout Rifle Symmetry. So that's the kind of content breakdown on the whole right there. And so what are we looking at? Well, of course, a new Season Pass and a new Artifact. There are a whole bunch of different rewards right there. We're going to get Exotic Quests and we don't know exactly how many, but presumably there will be a couple. Of course, there are going to be game updates and we're seeing things like the return of Rusted Lands for PvP. No word on Trials just yet. Maybe it's a little bit early. But I'd say looking at it for the moment, and this is only looking in a trailer, of course, it looks like the Sundial does have some potential to maybe be a little bit more mechanically complicated or depthy than what Vex Offensive was, right? Of course, we won't know until we actually play it, but also, hopefully, we're going to see a pretty substantial loot table right there and a reason to kind of farm through those things. And then we'll get titles and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's a first glimpse at the content, and I think what we're seeing looks pretty good, but precisely how much and what the roadmap will look like, we'll have to wait and find out. And I'm sure... That is partially what Bungie's stream tomorrow will be for. So initially, I'm pretty impressed at what we've seen. We'll see how it pans out in the game. I'm especially very curious to get more of the kind of Saint-14 and Osiris story there. 
And to see if there's more of a rational link between the Undying Mind and what happens in that new story, but... Yeah, either way guys, let us know your thoughts down below, but if you've enjoyed the video, a rating is very much appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to get subscribed so I can keep you up to date with everything related to the game. Otherwise though, thank you as always for tuning in guys, and whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.